the appointment of uh, of Ryan Fijian coach has been a lengthy process. Uh, as I know, uh, majority of you have waited anxiously for this uh, announcement. The process has been a lengthy one, and I understand that the majority of all Fijians have been waiting anxiously for the announcement of our Ryan Fijian's uh, uh, head coach. Uh, in summary, there were 20 candidates that applied for the post. Uh, we've sorted, shortlisted it down to six, and uh, the six uh, shortlisted candidates went through the process, and uh, we've come up with uh, the best candidate for the job, whom uh, the panel believed and the board endorsed to become the next uh, flying Fijian coach. And as you heard from the clip, Mr. Vern Cotta from New Zealand, who's currently the coach up in uh, director of coaching up in Montpellier in France. Now, Gwen was supposed to be in Fiji uh, for this media conference. Uh, unfortunately, he has to travel back to France to uh, meet up with his current employers and to discuss uh, uh, his appointment as uh, our flying Fiji coach. Whether he's going to join us early or as of June, that is something that uh, we will await uh, uh, the outcomes of his discussions with his club up in France. Uh, the contract that we've given to uh, Vern is uh, for three years and uh, hopefully there will be a review uh, in the second year uh, uh, to, to gauge uh, his performance and to see uh, whether this will need to continue further. Uh, the negotiations that we've been in with uh, Mr. Potter to have uh, one of our locals uh, under his uh, tutelage during his term as our flying Fijian head coach uh, the coach that uh, earmarked to be under his guidance is Senirusi Senuris uh, Serubakul. We want him to be under his tutelage during his tenure year. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, this is the vision that the Fiji Rugby Union has, the board has, that one day, uh, and hopefully we foresee that coming after the Rugby World Cup in 2023, we have a coach, a local coach, that can take us onwards to the World Cup in 2020, 2027 beyond. His, uh, his experience up in New Zealand rugby, particularly with the Crusaders, and then on to uh, clubs in France like Clermont and also Montpellier, and also being head coach of Scotland, I think it augurs well for the future of, of, of Fiji rugby. Uh, uh, it's an investment for Fiji rugby, and I think Fiji rugby has been very fortunate to secure the services of a top world-class coach like Mr. Belcourt.